glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. State supremacy on the line as Virginia and Virginia Tech get set to square off in the battle for the Commonwealth Cup. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. Virginia Tech is getting fired up down there as they get ready to boot this opening kickoff. Anderson fields it at the three. He's tackled at the 26. Well, from that first time they walked on campus as a recruit to their freshman season, and now here they are as seniors taking the field for the final time. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Scrambling, decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. And he's tackled right around the 42-yard line. Hey, sometimes the defense does everything right, and they still lose. That time they had tight coverage, which left no options other than for the quarterback to take off. From their own 42-yard line, first down. the handoff and he's taken down for a loss this guy's just an amazing playmaker i'm sure we'll see him compete on sunday afternoons tailback on the screen he's knocked out of bounds around the 47 yard line a seven yard pickup on the screenplay from their own 47 yard line third down he's on the run and he's tackled in the open field it's a good job of converting on third down with the running game. Fights forward to about the 43. A two-yard run by the halfback. One thing the coaches always yeah, say about this sophomore be. is that he has great lateral movement. That lets him move well behind this defensive line and get after a lot of plays in the running game. From the 43-yard line, second down. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. play of this drive.
second and 12. From the 35 yard line, second down. He's going to try and scramble. And he tucked that one in for about five yards. This is the 10th play of this drive. And he is drilled at the 14. the 14 yard line it's first down they go with the screen here and the halfbacks got it they'll bring him down at the one yard line a pass like that is so hard to defend because the defender doesn't have a great play on the ball unless it's underthrown. it's all based on connection between the quarterback and his receiver the short yardage defense here Goes to the fullback, touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. It was a 12 play, 73 yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Green is lined up to kick this one off. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 29. The Hokies have a lot at stake here, including some possible record-breaking performances. Records and stats are great, but I think to a man, these players say, let's win the game first, and then any accolades we get along with it, that'll be great. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Throws complete, he's got room to work. And he shoved out of bounds at the 43. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz. And the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. From their own 43-yard line, first down. Tackle made at the 43 yard line. First down. Come on, you're going eight. Pretty quiet, Dean. Pretty quiet. Wesley on a counter, left side. Here's an opening. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 32-yard line. You know that saying, get your keys out, because we're on a drive? Well, this offense right now is on a drive. I mean, this is their third first down. They're doing just about anything they want, and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down. He's at the 20. He's taken down at about the 19-yard line. That's great execution. Quarterback made a nice throw, and the receiver was able to go up and make the play. First and 10. Ball on the 19-yard line. Nice run there as they work the outside. They get about six yards on the option to the halfback. That'll make it second and four. run there that's going to do it for the first quarter we got a good one so far Virginia's lead is a touchdown
Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Makes a move and he's in for the touchdown. The extra point to tie this game up. And he hits the PAT. A seven play, 71 yard drive. And that's good for a touchdown. Right, has the ball set and he looks ready to kick this one deep. And he'll return this one from the seven. And he's taken down at the 31. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Good tackle there in space. So it's second down and about two yards to go. He's scrambling. Now he's going to run and watch out. Dives and he's down. And down he goes, right around the 50. Well, the defensive line got such a good push up front that there was no one on the offense to account for the linebacker. And he got through almost untouched. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 50. And he just gets rid of it. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. And they get the sack. Wow, I absolutely love this call. It's a bit of a risk here bringing a corner, but he got all the way in and got to the quarterback. A lot of times the defensive coordinator will call a blitz from the corner, hoping to just maybe apply pressure. But this time he got all the way in to be able to bring the quarterback down. That's a big time play. They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. <laughs> He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Tackle at the 47-yard line. That's a team 14 yards on the way. First and 10. First and 10. Ball on the 47. Here we go. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's a D of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. He makes his way to about the 32. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 32. He might have a chance. Run down after a nice run up the middle. That makes it second and six. Brought down at the 19. 
The offensive coordinator has to be elated with the way his offense right now is executing. They're not in a hurry, but they're very, very methodical and very consistent with their approach. That's the third first down that they've picked up on this drive. There he goes. The five. Touchdown, Virginia Tech. He adds the extra point. A six play, 67 yard drive, and they put up seven points. You know, this offensive line has done a really good job, but really, I think it's more about the big play ability from the running backs and why we've seen so many big plays from this offense. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Jones fields it at the seven. He's taken down at the 31 yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Zips it to the tight end. And he's taken down at the 42. down 10 yards to go ball on the 42 now he tries to buy some time he's tackled right around the 28 yard line pulls it in and he's in the open field and they make the stop right around the 18-yard line. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. He's out of bounds around the 23-yard line. Lost the five on the way. Third down. He gets rid of this one. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five-wide set, and he comes in with his dime package. Fires out quickly, incomplete. And so now the ball's turned over on downs. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Virginia Tech is up a score. Got a man. Watch out here. He's tackled in the open field. First down. From their own 36-yard line. First down. He goes out of bounds at the 41 yard line. Call it again at five yards. That brings him second and five. He scrambled. And he's going to come up with a sack. Now oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman, when the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday. Play fake, looking to run. And he's tackled at the 45-yard line. Virginia Tech's going to have to use their second time out of the half. From the 45-yard line, it's first down. Here we go. Black, Black, Here we go. Check it out. Check it out. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. They'll bring him down around the 33-yard line. Regular, regular, regular. Now 
he's scrambling. Diving for extra yardage. He's on the run. Slides down to the ground. We've played a half of football. The Hokies in front, 14-7. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Steve Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. There is nothing, and I mean nothing, that is more important than turnover. Now, so far, neither defense has been able to force one in this game, but you never know when that opportunity is going to come up. No, and people look at turnovers and they assume that it's luck a lot of times, but a lot of times it's preparation. It's being able to know that when certain teams line up like South Carolina back in 2002 in a certain formation where it's Tucson open stud, and they got three receivers to my side, and I know it's a rollout pass. As a defensive end, I widened my stance a little bit, came up field, hit the quarterback as he was throwing it. Next thing you know, the ref signals his hands up in the air and you get six points for it. So you can definitely be prepared and that's how you force those turnovers. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He'll return it from the three. Brought down at the 31. The offense is coming out on the field, and they haven't had any problem finding the end zone lately. Virginia Tech is up seven. And he has it on the corner. He's at midfield. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. That makes it first and 10. It's first and 10. Ball on the 47-yard line. He's at the 30, to the 10, touchdown, VTech. That did more than just put six points on the board. It takes a lot of pressure off the offensive coordinator when the man under center can show that he's a dual threat. Splits the uprights with the extra point. And looks like they're ready for the kick. He's tackled at the 32-yard line. Virginia Tech's continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. And I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a game of four on that makes it second and six. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 36. Him hard at the 38. Good possession there for the defense. That makes it fourth and four. Oh. 
The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. Wesley takes it to 25, and he's tackled at the 33-yard line. The Hokies have shown here in the third quarter they're not content to just sit on that lead they built in the first half. Well, they did a nice job in the first half, but the adjustments that they made at halftime have allowed them to find some matchups to their advantage, and they've taken uh, full advantage of that. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Inside the 30 to the 20. And he's taken down at the 15-yard line. First down. So we've got a first down after a great running play. Five wide. Looking for his man, incomplete. You know, sometimes the toughest throws to make for a quarterback is when he has a wide receiver wide open. And everybody in the stands is saying, throw it, throw it and you aim the football instead of just getting back in rhythm, stepping, and throwing. And that time, he aimed the ball. Touchdown, Hokies! And he tacks on the extra point. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. Oklahoma and Oklahoma State in Bedlam. We've got a tight one going on here. Oklahoma State leads it 6 0. Three touchdown ball game here, Reese 28 to 7. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He'll return it from the six. He makes it to the 28 yard line. They couldn't get anything going on that last drive. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. He makes his way to about the 38. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. up the first down not a huge run but enough to move the chains and that's all that matters they'll spread the field with five wide and he hits him hard at the 42 yard line this guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. From the 42-yard line, first down. Gain as he works the right side. Call it a gain of four yards. That'll make it second and seven. Tight end right. Tight end right. Four down, four down. At 58 to the mic. At 58 to the mic. Throws left. Picked off. He's taken down at the 37. He seemed a little hesitant on that throw. And that left the defender time to break on the ball and pick it off. From the 37-yard line, first down. He's scrambling. Tackle made the 37-yard line. That makes it second and ten.
Just throws this one away. Third down, and they need to get it to the 27. defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack, and somehow he's able to throw the ball away. Got it, but he's going to be stopped short. The offense couldn't convert, and that's going to cost him the possession. So will be looking to do better this time out. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. Sanders was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten to go. Ball on the 32-yard line. at the 44. Second down. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. So with one quarter remaining, Virginia Tech in front, 28-7. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. run there by the tailback and it's good for the first good play here getting a new set of downs and keeping the run an integral part of this offense from the 41 yard line it's first down he has all day but scrambles out brought down at the 34 scramble and down he goes right around the 24 yard line so with that run they pick up another first just a nice job again up front by the offensive line they're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field swings it out left to the halfback and he's level at the 23 yard line Harris makes the tackle at the 23 yard line that makes, that makes it second, second and eight. eight. Larry, Larry, Larry. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. <laughs> Scrambling around. Inside the 10. And he's taken down at about the three-yard line. Yeah. 
First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Well, after that injury, we'll get to see the backup quarterback here. Touchdown, Virginia! There are some guys, when they get near the goal line, they just have a knack for getting the ball into the end zone. That's what we saw right there. And he converts the extra point. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. The crimson and cream and the big orange of Oklahoma State. Battle in Bedlam. This is a game we've been watching closely all day long. And for Oklahoma, a potential upset in the making right now. And for Roberts, he now has two touchdown passes. The Cowboys are on top, 23-10. In other games, we take you out to a battle in the Big Ten where the action's always tough and hard-nosed. This was a tight one to the very end. The Wildcats prevail by a couple. Two touchdown ball game right now. 28 to 14 here. What a collision. That might have just clinched it. And that's a really strong effort by the hands team to make sure they came away with the football. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Tries to get around the corner. Tackled after a decent pickup. Glover comes away with five yards on the carry. That makes it second and six. From the 37-yard line, second down. Just under three to go in regulation. He's tackled around the 28-yard line. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run, and that creates chances in the play-action passing game. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Glover gets seven yards on the play. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Carries the ball for a nice game. And a nice run by the tailback. Not a lot of razzle-dazzle here, but it gets the job done and picks up the first down. One, one, right here, right here. Right. Tries to get around the corner. Runs right for a nice game. Glover gains around six yards on the run. Virginia's out of timeout. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. And he makes it out to about the five-yard line. That'll make it third and one. field goal under a minute left kicks away and it's good Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. Oklahoma and Oklahoma State. It's crazy. It's whack. It's off the chain. It's better. And we've been keeping an eye on this one all day. And for Oklahoma, we might have an upset percolating in this one. And for Roberts, he's having a sensational day with three touchdowns. The Cowboys are out front, 31-10. 
30 to 10, middle of the third quarter. Our score, 31-14 here. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. Gets to about the 27-yard line. Nothing left here except to see the clock hit zero. A comeback is just not happening. He chucks it downfield. So what do you think of this receiver after that play? The quarterback made a nice throw, but it was the receiver who made this happen. That's a great way to make a statement. Spikes the ball. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 28-yard line. Slings it. And they make the stop around the nine-yard line. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. And he stops the clock with a spike. It's second and goal. Ball on the nine-yard line. Looks for the tight end, but they can't hook up. to the receiver, incomplete. It's fourth and goal. They're on the nine-yard line, and I'd probably be expecting a pass to the end zone here. The sub package in there defensively in this five-wide receiver set. Just an unbelievable stop where they had to have it on fourth down, and that should be the football game. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. The offense lining up in a victory formation, and he takes a knee. And the ball game's over, and our final score on this one, 31-14, Virginia Tech. So what are your final thoughts on this one, Kirk? Virginia Tech came out here today and played with the heart and intensity that you love to see in a rivalry game. They should be very proud of their victory because wins don't come easy between these two teams. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.